Welcome! In this fourth section, we'll be creating RESTful API that will use the Java 8 EE API. So, there will be a JAX-RS introduction. JAX-RS is a standard that gives us the ability to express REST logic via annotations. This standard is implemented by multiple containers. For example, Undertow, Glassfish, JBoss, and so on and so on. So the pros of it is that we can write a logic that is the same and switch different implementations of the containers. So there is a clear separation here. We'll be designing REST contract for the API and also we'll be using embedded Undertow to start Java Enterprise Edition REST application. And this is a first video in which there will be a JAX-RS introduction. So we'll be adding needed dependencies and also we'll create an entry point for our application, the application class. So firstly, we need to add the Java X8 dependency. So we are using Java EE8. It will be provided by the container, but we'll need that dependency to be able to write our code, of course. Also, we'll be using the undertow. Undertow will be an embedded container. We'll be able to start that container out of our application and it is compatible with the Java Enterprise Edition 8 annotations. So we'll write a code that is in EE8 and we'll be able to ship it to the undertow. Undertow will do everything for us there. We'll be using REST Easy specification this is a bridge between the Undertow Java EE and JAX-RS. Also, we need Servlet API and that REST Easy Undertow. So once we have our dependencies ready, let's look at the Chat REST application. So Chat REST application is a class that extends the application. Let's look at this class. Application is from the Java X Web Services RS core. So this is an implementation of the JAX-RS and every application that is according to the standard need to extend that application somehow. So we are extending it and then Undertow container will know that it should take that application class and treat it as the entry point for our application. Also, we will annotating first annotation from WSRS application path. So the root of our path will be API. Everything that will be added and the controller that is added to that application will have endpoints underneath API endpoint. The most important thing if you want to add a custom controller is get classes method. This is method that is from the application. So this is overrided. Default is empty set. So default is that there is no additional controller besides application. And this is not the ideal situation because we want to be able to add another controllers. So we are creating a hash set of classes. So every class that is a controller should be added here. We will have in that application one controller. This is a chat controller. Let's look at this. Chat controller is a, just a simple class that has some JAX WSRS annotations. We'll be looking at those in the next video more in depth, but right now we are just returning classes. And because of that, when we will start Undertow, passing Chadrest up, Undertow will know that this controller should be taken as the REST endpoint. 